Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to use themes with Swift and Xcode. Now part one is basically just showing you the basics of it. So you can actually go into settings and you can use switches to change it up a little bit according to your personalization. And it's a very smart thing to have inside of applications. And then later in this tutorial, we will later go into uh, passing those settings via throughout the view controllers. So you can have it throughout your application and keep, the, keep it throughout your application so when they exit out of this application, they will always keep that theme. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, first thing we need to do is open up Xcode and create a new Xcode project. This is going to be a single view application, although this will apply to any application accordingly. Go next, and our product name, I am just going to call mine themes. You can call this whatever you want. Our language will be set to Swift, and our devices will be set to iPhone. Click next and create. Now let's make this a bit bigger, and we're gonna head on over to our main.storyboard. We're just gonna add a few switches on there. Uh, we will just put that right in the center there, and we're going to center horizontally. We're going to add some constraints and center horizontally, vertically. Then we're going to take this switch, take another switch, center horizontally, center vertically, just by adding constraints by right-clicking or control-clicking and dragging from our switch, uh, center horizontally, and that's it for now. Now let's open up our assistant editor and we're just going to right click or control click and drag from these buttons over to our view controller swift and this is just so we can actually take from these switches and do accordingly. So now let's add the collect an outlet and this is going to be just our dark action. I'm sorry, this is going to be our dark switch. We're just giving these names basically, so when we act we can actually call these later. Now let's right click or control click and drag again from these from our second switch, and we'll call this our light switch. You can call this whatever you want, but basically these switches will be changing through themes. Now let's go down here, and we're going to add some actions to these as well. So right click, or control, click, and drag from this switch up here, down here, and we're going to insert an action. In the name of this action, I will just call this the dark action because it's evil. And connect. And now let's right click or control click and drag from our second switch and we're going to insert an action and this will be our light action as this is the good action. Now connect. And now we have uh, two actions that will be called anytime we press on these switches. Now what we need to happen is we want to turn our light switch off and our dark switch on when we click this action right here. So if we were to say a dark switch as we called right up here as we called it right up here we can say dark switch dot on is equal to is equal to true and then our light switch we will say light switch dot on is equal to false so we're ch we're just turning them on and off it's a, it's a switch and now we're going to go down here to our light action and we're going to say dark switch dot on is equal to true I mean, to false, sorry. We want to turn our dark switch on uh, off. And then we're going to go down here and say light switch dot on is equal to true. So we're doing the reverse reaction. So if we were to build and run this, you will see that when we click on uh, this switch right here, it turns it on. And then if we do so accordingly, it just switches back and forth. Now, one thing you did notice if you were to build and run that, is that they both build and run like that. So they will they will not change anything as soon as the view loads. So let's go into our view did load. And we want to add a couple bools before we actually get into our view did load. So right up here, we want to say var uh, dark on is equal to a bool. Now this bool will be uh, checking whether it is on or off and then it'll be true or false so if we say if a dark on is equal to true or is equal equal to true as equal equal is a comparison statement so if our dark action if our dark on is true then we want things to happen and we can just say our dark we can basically take from right down here and say our dark switch dot on is equal to true and our light switch dot on is equal to false. And then we can do the same for if we add another variable and we can say if our light switch equals bool or our, we'll say var light on 
is equal to and bool again. And this is going to check whether and see our light switch is equal to true. And then we're going to write accord and we're going to do things accordingly. And close that curly bracket. And we're going to just take right down here from this action and put it like so. Now, another thing we need to happen is I want to say in my to in my view controller, I just want to change the background color of my theme. So in order to actually make sure that our dark on is equal equal to true, first thing we need to do is actually save whether it's true. So in order to do this, let's go down here to our dark action and we want to create a standard user default. And basically what a standard user default is, is when it actually saves into the core data of your application and then you grab it and you put that inside of your application again. So we can say var, uh, we'll just call this dark default is equal to stand, uh, stand, user default dot standard user default. So now with this standard user default, we want to set this as according uh, as a thing. So we want to say var dark default equals ns user defaults dot standard user defaults. So we so we want to say dark default dot set bool. So we're setting a bool and we're going to change a value for the bool. So we're wanting to say uh, dark, dark, uh, dark switch is equal to true. So we just type in true right there and we'd say for key and this is going to be, we'll just call this a dark default. So now we're actually going to, we're setting this as a bool and we're giving it a key of dark default. And now another thing we need to do is say uh, var light default is equal to ns user defaults dot standard user defaults. And we want to say light light default is equal uh, dot set bool. So we're setting this bool for the light switch to false. And then we're giving it the key of our light default and we will basically this key is something that we can access later so we're we're setting this this key right here so we're going to be able to access it it's putting this inside of the core data and then we need to grab that out of the core data but we're also we also gave it this value of true or false so now we need to say just do the exact opposite for our light action and we could just put that right in there and just switch this around right there where it says false and true. So now we are setting our light default to true and our dark default to tr false. And now we need to load this up up here and we can easily do this by just uh, let's copy and paste this real quick and just put it right inside of our view did load and then just delete this part where it's setting a bool. So just delete that little part right there and basically what we need to do is we have these variables of NS user defaults. We need to actually take these NS user defaults and we need to plug it in and load it from the core data itself and test whether that is true or false accordingly right there. So now we need to say uh, dark on is equal to, we'll say dark on is equal to dark default dot value or bool dot sorry, dot bool for key. And then what is the key name we gave it? We said dark default. And also be sure to capitalize things the way, the exact way that you did it before. Now we need to say light, light on, which is the bool that we created to check and see whether the light was on. And I just realized I made this error right here. This should be actually be if the light on is equal equal to true. So now we have this light on and we can say light on is equal to light light default dot bool for key and this is going to be our light default as you can remember we called our keys down here light default and dark default so now if we built and ran this actually first thing we nothing would change because we didn't change anything wrong with anything else with the theme so 
now we have this on and if we were actually to build and run this again we I just did, went command shift HH to go home and then we canceled the process so now if we go back into themes it remembered that light was our last action and if we go back and close out of the process we can go back into themes again and it'll remember that dark was our option so that is exactly what we need to do and now we need to actually take that and do stuff with this so in order to do this we can say if dark on is equal to true we can say self dot view uh, dot background color is equal to we'll say a ui color and instead of just making it a plain old black color, I'm actually going to do an RGB. So just say open parentheses, and it's going to give you this option of red, green, blue, and alpha. So red, we're going to set this to 0 0.1. Our green, 0 0.1. I'm just pulling these out of my head. And our blue will be 0 0.1. Our alpha will just be 1.0, as alpha basically means, is it see-through? No. We don't want the, our background to be see-through at all. So now down here, we want to turn our background to a white color if this is selected. And in order to do that, you just need to set everything to a 1.0. As if you don't know, RGB runs from 0 to 1. So 1 being all white, or the, the largest amount you can go, and 0 being black. So now if we were to build and run this, uh, you will see that dark was our theme as we last selected, so it automatically set that as dark. And then if we turn this to light, nothing happens because actually we didn't set that up into our light action down here. I was not expecting that. Okay, now let's go down here and we're just going to copy and paste what we, what we have right down here. And if you actually want, let's actually do this because I think this is going to make it a lot easier for everyone. So we can say... Let's create a function. So this function will run anytime we want it to. So we can say function uh, dark theme is equal, or dark theme, and then say open parentheses, close parentheses, open curly bracket, close curly bracket. And then we will also have a function, and this will be called our light theme. Now I'm creating a function as this can actually be accessed from other view controllers if you want it and just call it straight from this view controller so you don't have to write it in, type it in billions of times. So now our dark theme, we can say, they just put in there self.backgroundRGB equals 0 0.1 and so on. And then our light theme will be 1.0, uh, 1.0, and our blue will be 1.0. And now if we go back up here, we can say if dark on is equal equal to true, we can say uh, our dark theme. So we're running this thing called dark theme. And for this, we'll, we'll just call our function for light theme. And let's do the same down here for our dark action. So when this is built and run, ran, we can say our dark theme will equal... We're just going to type this right in here inside of our dark, dark action, and we'll just call this... We'll just type in dark theme. So it calls it inside of there as well. And I'm sorry, this should be light theme. And let's build and run. Now, as you can see, we have our switches. And if we were to turn them on, uh, when you actually click on this switch, it actually turns it back on for you. That is. It, it doesn't look too good, but it's probably the best thing that I could do right now. You can probably have a more, um, a better way of doing it, saying like if you click this button, it sets it to the default or something like that, but I'm not going to do that. So now we have this just turning on and off, and if we were to hold in, go command, C, command H, we can go back into our command shift H, H, and then go back into our themes app, we can see that it's still on. So there we have it, that is how you do that. That's it for this part of the tutorial. Uh, join me in part two where we actually will be going over passing these themes between different view controllers. Uh, it's a bit more complicated than I thought, so we will be doing that next time. So I hope you enjoyed this one and be sure to stick around for part two. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. That's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more tutorials like this from me in the future, be sure to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching again, and I will see you in the next one.